Sunrise, everyone. Sunrise. I hope everyone's doing all right. I'm doing great, vibrant, fantastic. Never better. <laughs> now, I want to just quickly let y'all know the reason why I was talking in a very low voice. My last video is because it was nighttime. The time that I did that video was kind of late. I was in a gym, you feel me? There was a lot of people. I don't like people really listening to what I'm fucking saying, especially when I'm doing, you know, things that I love to do, like therapeutic videos like this. So there are reasons why I move the way I do when I put videos out, whatever, 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 you feel me? So like, if you're in my shoes, you'll know what's up. Other than that, you could keep your judgmental shit to yourself, feel me? Cool. Anyway, um, this is going to be about the soundtrack of the eccentric loner. Um, I've always called my life the soundtrack of the eccentric loner for a reason. Reason being is that, and by the way, I project my full throttle of my voice when I'm outside because it's that fucking big. You know, that's what Great Spirit has gifted me with. You know, and that's what my ancestors have helped cultivate for me with. So, I have this inner knowing of when to use my voice, when not to project my voice so much. You know, um, what you call it? I don't know, I know how to adjust it depending on what is going on around me at the time being. So, I'm gonna just be straight with you guys, like straight, okay? This is what's going on. Now, just imagine, right? Imagine a young woman going through fucking hell all her fucking life, right? Just use your imagination. And... She went through hell, right? She had a child, right? And no one has given her much of a helping hand as far as it actually lasting and is helping her in the long run. You feel me? If they were helping her, it's just for a short period of time. There's an expiration date, correct? So if a young woman turned mother, is trying to get out of hell herself along with her child. Why the fuck would a young woman who has been through hell and has even birthed her child while she was in hell and she's trying to figure out how to get out of hell along with her child, why the fuck would she have romance on her mind? Why would she have romance at all on her mind, period? That's the last thing a young woman will have on her mind when she's really about business. What is on her mind is stability for herself, peace of mind for herself, stability for her child, and a peace of mind for her child. Safeguarding that peace of mind and stability for her children, and including herself. Remaining aligned with her ancestors remaining aligned with great spirit remaining aligned with you know her creators because only the creator knows the itty itty bitty 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 stuff about all of their creations correct so i don't feel like god is judgy i don't feel like even ancestors are judgy i don't feel like you know only man is judgy you know what happens when a man judge another person it turns out ugly, don't it? Ugly words, ugly cut with the tongue, ugly, you know what I mean? Ugly everything, ugly actions, right? Even if they feel like they are fucking justified, right? And all that shit, it's just, that's not their place. It's really nobody's place to judge no fucking body. It's nobody's place. So what I'm saying is, I'm that young woman who do not have romance on her mind. And you know what? I say what the fuck I mean and I mean what I fucking say. 
maybe other people they often have this culture they're saturated oh, what's up moth you see that moth right there they're saturated in this culture of saying the opposite of how they truly feel basically representing the opposite of how of what they truly represent like say for instance you take a oh she's so adorable take a young man right take a young man and um you know he disrespects women right yet he says like he disrespects women with her words he dis his words he disrespects you know with his actions but he claims all day every day that he loves women that he respect women hello people who do the opposite of what they actually feel i don't go with that shit at all i'm gonna tell y'all exactly what the fuck i mean and i don't mean nothing else i don't mean anything beside this woman is not bitter this woman has her heart chakra all the way the fuck open if that wasn't the case i wouldn't have my ancestors on my side right now if that wasn't the case i wouldn't have the help and assistance of the love of the universe on my side right now if that wasn't the case Things wouldn't be, you know, always going smoothly. I wouldn't have protection around me and my family. Only my ancestors, only my great spirit, only mama nature knows the details about my life, period. And so, period. There's nothing else to say. And of all my videos, I always said that I want to only establish my stability and peace of mind. It was a dream of mine since I was a very young girl, okay? Since I was a very young girl, I always wanted to have my own sanctuary. I had fantasies of being in far away peaceful environments, far away peaceful just you know saturated with nature not so much city but more nature you know like cottages in the mountains or i don't know like caves but the atmosphere the environment is peaceful you know what i mean i had fantasy since i was a child to get the fuck away from the masses of people just so i can exist in peace and just go about my day-to-day exactly how I would like to go about my day to day. I never have to worry about the environment of my children being disturbed and fucked with because of other motherfuckers living in the same household because I never knew the motherfuckers at all. It doesn't really matter how long you live with somebody. Let's be real. It doesn't matter how long you live with somebody. That doesn't mean you know them. Well, that's my family since I was a baby. They know me since I was pooping in my diaper and shit. They wiped my ass. They fed me. But who truly knows you is your creator. Who truly got your back, if you let them, are your ancestors. Who truly will help you evolve into the full form of the creation that you are, Mother Nature, will have your back as well. If your desire is to align yourself with your highest version of yourself, AKA meaning you align yourself with, you know, the most happiest place in your mind. Fuck what everybody is talking about. Fuck what everybody is talking about. Cause it ain't true. Unless the creator says something and to be quite honest with you, I wouldn't trust even a book about what creator says about his creations or about her creations. I wouldn't even trust the book, to be honest with you. But we have examples all throughout the world of individuals. I'm not the only one, such as myself, who have aligned themselves with the divine, have aligned themselves with their ancestors have aligned themselves with great spirit 
and radiate healing for themselves they heal themselves with their own gifts that was given to them by great spirit by their creator once they are healing themselves from you know the hell they've been through they're able to have that medicine available for others that may come across their pathway you feel me and you know we got you know we only know of one individual who was a healer right and who healed others you feel me and who aligned themselves with the universe who aligned themselves with their ancestors and who just had a pure heart we know this individual of being jesus we know this individual being jesus christ or christ consciousness you feel me i'm real big on christ consciousness it's a awareness thing it's a consciousness don't get hung up on how people look yeah um that may play a factor as well actually um, when it comes to spiritual matters, that may play a factor because whatever a person spends most of their time doing, in, with, study, eat, drink, no, no matter what a person, whatever the time they spent with whatever, their appearance is going to show, right? Because I read a whole fucking much like books, like I would, music is my life, reading is my life, libraries, um, finding cool little pockets of nature in the, on the land that I'm on, that's like a sanctuary, nobody really are over there like that, nobody fuck with nobody over there, because nobody's over there, it's not city like, there's no stores for them to use their money to buy shit. You know, it's not consumer friendly. It's all nature type shit. Those are places I am highly attracted to. And that I go to restore, recharge, to communicate with my ancestors, to just flow and feel good. You feel me? So look, you know, I'm the type of person who goes with the flow every day. No one has the motherfucking authority to judge nobody. Not even myself. Unless I created you, I have no authority to judge you, bro. I don't. Even if you're family, I have no authority to judge you. What the fuck at all? You like my shirt? I did not buy this, but... Um... It's been given by a really, really, oof, really helpful associate of mine. Very, very, I feel like a great spirit um, put this individual in my pathway for a reason. So I'm open enough to have a couple of associates. I'm open enough as far as friendships and, and it goes deeper and deeper. Not yet. But I've always been this way. This was my personality since yay high. And it's, I, I doubt really it has anything to do with because of my environment. Maybe so that might have played a factor. But I've always been cool and on my own. I've always been cool and like peacefully. Um, I was never the one to like, you know, drool over you know, wanting to be married and shit or drooling over being somebody's fucking girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever, you know. I was just never was that type. Now, if you're a woman watching this video and um, you're used to, you know, being coupled up, having a man, having a woman, whatever, if you're used to that, cool. And it's okay to, um, to wish good vibes and hopes of the next woman that they find their one or whatever the hell how i look at it though <laughs> how i look at it is um i don't really think like that you know it's very limp it's restrictive and it's limiting um but no shot at whoever that um that likes to fuck a lot that likes to always have somebody there to sexually please them all the fucking time or even not even having sex you know is 
I don't fucking know. Like always having somebody up in their fucking anal all the fucking time. You know, up up against their walls all the time, not letting the flower walls breathe. Like, if that's what you like, that's you. Um, you know, ain't nobody mad over here about that shit. If you like that, that's cool. You are speaking to a woman who really, really honors her own solitude. You're speaking to a woman who really honors her own peace of mind all day, every day. I do not get lonely. I fucking love it. As I'm going, as I'm pacing myself day by day, and I walk with great spirit, I walk with my ancestors, taking my time day by day, I'm cooling. So, what's going on right now is, you are looking at a young woman like the story I opened up this video with before, you are looking at a young woman who, um, you know, had my own version of hell, which actually made me into the beautiful woman that I am today. I actually thank hell. I thank hell. You know that? Like, I don't see the... Anyway, so... I don't got romance in my mind. Romance is not a thing. I don't have romance in my mind at all. That's a moth behind me. I don't have romance in my mind at all. What's on my mind is stability. What's on my mind is a peace of mind, period. Let me explain further for those who just don't fucking get it. I don't mind. I got time. Um. So what I mean by that is let me give y'all a raw, a very, very raw example using what I'm going through right now as an example. Um, I wake up, I go to sleep, I wake up, I go to sleep outside. I have a gym I like to go to, you know, to get warm, fuzzy and shit. After I go to a dollar store to get some snacks, I'll take the snacks back to the gym, go ahead and grub dub 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 and you know what's up when you get the right snacks with the right nutritional facts that matches with your ass yeah you'll be straight right potassium on fleek celium on fleek calcium on fleek um iron on fleek i don't even like to say fleek ew i don't know whoever that created that phrase my god that slang like ew, i don't know what it is it's just a sound fleek ew, what is that <laughs> anyway um Anyway, so basically, when I say I am on the streets, literally, I mean I wake up and I go to sleep outside. I do not have a bed at my leisure. I don't. I don't have a house I walk into and I can close the door behind me and have some privacy or illusion of privacy at that. I don't have that. Okay? Um... My child is being watched over by the household that um, I got kicked out of. And thanks to my ancestors, thanks to Great Spirit, and thanks to the universe for helping me keep my head cool and help me with a wise plan of how to get me and my child out of basically hell. Hell is other people get out of hell, okay, <laughs> and establish our roof, our roof of sanctuary, the environment, the atmosphere, it's a vibe, baby, it's a vibe, the vibe of happy mothers, a vibe of a peaceful, peace of mind, mothers with a peace of mind that is not disturbed, that doesn't get fucked with by anybody around her at all. Peace of mind for the children because they have their mama right there that loves them so very much. And they like that they see their mom happy because they know when mommy's happy, everything's okay. Period. We've seen way too many hood movies where the mom, 
Do I have to fucking repeat that shit? Do I? Do I? Do I have to repeat what goes on with mothers and their children in hood movies? Do I need to fucking repeat that shit? Because I'm not speaking into my existence. Do I need to repeat that shit? Shit. Let's go an inch further. Hey, Seuss. Hey, Seuss and his mom. How the fuck do you think Mary felt when Hey, Seuss was going through all that shit? That could be a hood movie right there. What's the difference? What's the difference between Hey, Seuss life and the life of a typical motherfucking melanated mother and melanated child what's the difference tell me debate with me what's the difference jesus life was jesus was basically in the hood basically think about it come on now in the suburbs, you're not going to see a whole bunch of kids unless it's like Halloween night or whatever and they're getting together. They have a neat little event going on and they all go back to somebody else's house and they all have this whatever the fuck. In the hood, shit go different. You feel me? In the hood, you always see groups of motherfuckers and they're typically always grouped around people that they feel like got it. Whatever it is. They always hang around individuals who they feel got it, whether it's looks, whether it's energy, whether it's, I don't know, prosperity, whether it's a certain kind of self-love that Jesus had with himself that no woman can motherfucking disturb. No man could get disturbed. Jesus had so much self-love to the point where even though he was surrounded by a lot of hood dudes, <laughs> he was surrounded by a whole lot of speculators, critics. He had a couple of people who was around him that really admired him and was learning from him like student and teacher, teacher to student. You know, they sat and ate with him and everything. Sat and ate with him and everything and, you know, drunk wine with him and everything like hung with him around the corner you feel me like just who knows jesus probably had some bars you feel me jesus had motherfucking gifts talents he was able to entertain a whole audience before the apollo was a thing okay let jesus step onto the apollo stage <laughs> and watch all the women in the apollo audience just drool over jesus bro drool okay it's like that of course jesus is gonna be surrounded by everybody people who want to get rid of him people who want to take from him people who need his healing people who love him and admire him people who want to sit and eat with him people who need their knee fixed people who want to walk again you feel me now do you hear anybody around him trying to judge and criticize him and his life and every little fucking move that he made? Cause trust, every move he every move he made has been watched as well. Why do you think the Bible was uh, created? Okay, somebody was watching his ass. There's always a watcher, <laughs> you know. So, and then the people that came before Jesus. I mean, who knows, man? Like, I feel like there's a whole lot more motherfucking people that are like Jesus in the fucking planet, like myself. And I feel like, I feel like me and bro, yo, know, like, there's a whole lot of other people out there that are like me and Jesus, okay? that didn't make it in the Bible, that didn't make it in a sacred book, that didn't make it in the hymns, that didn't make it in the songs, the music, that didn't make it in, that never been recognized, that never been acknowledged. Energy vampire groups are notorious <laughs> throughout the fucking planet, mind you. Anyway, 
Jesus wasn't worried about being married. Jesus was retaining his semen. Jesus was retaining his semen. Jesus had wisdom to not really fuck with women like that. Not because women are evil. Not because, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's not because of that shit, no. It's because Jesus knew when he did not fuck, he was able to connect with his creator better. He was able to connect with his father better. He was able to connect with Papa better. You feel me? He was able to make those wise, sound decisions throughout every moment of every second of the day because guess what? There was always a motherfucker always watching Jesus and every little fucking thing he did. Listening in to every conversation, to every motherfucking thing he said. And especially when Jesus decides to touch somebody to help their ass out with whatever the fuck situation they got going on. Oh my God. If they had cameras back in the day, but they did not. So they had like a drawing board and a little pencil sketch pen and they went ahead and sketched out. Who knows, man? Like, who the fuck knows? Because it's been so fucking long. I don't even think not even most of... Not even most of what people's admiration and people's love for Jesus really, you know, survived to this day for us to witness. You know, I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's a lot. So, it's not just Christ. It's not just Jesus Christ, okay? It's not just Jesus.